It was a sunny early spring afternoon. Jemmy sat on the sofa, shipping tea and looking out at the peaceful neighborhood. She had always loved this time of year, with the cherry blossom blooming and the bird singing. But today, she couldn't help but feel sad and disappointed. Jemmy was raised to believe in fairy tales of marriage and internal happiness. She dreamed of finding her ideal partner, setting it down with him, and starting a family. But when she turned 30, she still found herself single and her dream of marriage vanished. She had different suitors over the years, but none of them had ever felt right. Some had been too focused on their careers, others too self-absorbed, and still others too intimidated by her intelligence and independence. Yemi had started to wonder if there was something wrong with her, if she was too picky or too demanding. As she sat on the coach, lost in thought, she heard a car that drove in her compound. It was her best friend, Bola, who had been married for three years now and had just had her fourth child. Yemi loved Bola, but sometimes it was hard to be around her and her perfect little family because she felt like a failure comparison. Bola went upstairs and hugged Yemi tightly. Hi, gay, how are you? She asked. Yemi forced a smile. I am fine, thank you. How is the baby? He is doing great. You should come play with him sometime. Yemi nodded, but deep down, she felt jealous. She always wanted to have a home child, but without her husband by her side, it seemed like an impossible dream. Over the next few weeks, Jemmy tried to shake off the negative emotions and focus on her freelancer's writing job. But every time she saw a happy couple or a family with children, her heart felt like it was being stabbed by a knife. She was sitting in a coffee shop planning to write an article about dating in the digital age when she overheard a group of women chatting at the next table. It is amazing how single women are meeting real men these days. It is all about online dating and swiping left and right. So carefree, oh dua, one of them said. Jamie couldn't help but agree. She had tried online dating before, but it always left her feeling empty and disappointed. As she packed up her laptop and headed to the coffee shop, she noticed a flyer on the bulletin board that read, Hang out with singles, meet like-minded singles in a fun and comfortable environment. Jamie hesitated for a moment, then tore off the leaflet and stuffed it into his wallet. Maybe that is exactly what she needed to boost her love life. On date night, Yemi felt nervous and self-conscious when entering a crowded room, but as she mingled with other singles, she is not alone in her struggles and fears. Everyone there was looking for the same thing she was, love and companionship. She picked up a conversation with a man named Ayo, who worked in a finance and had a good sense of humor. They laughed and joked together, and Yemi felt a spark of attraction that she hadn't felt in a long time. As the night wore on, Ayo asked Yemi if she wanted to go for a walk outside. They strolled around the block chatting and getting to know each other better. When they reached the park, Ayo stopped and turned to face her. Jemmy, I know we just met tonight, but I feel like I have known you for a long time. Do you want to hang out with me for another time? Jemmy had skipped a bit. In the end, will she find her happily ever after? She looked into Ayo's eyes 
and saw a glimmer of hope and possibility. That is right, she said. I really want to go out with you. A week later, Jemmy and Hayo had a series of fun, exciting and promising dates. They watched movies together, visit new restaurants and bars, and talked for hours about their hopes and dreams. Jemmy felt like he was walking on her. She finally found someone who appreciated her for who she was, who made her laugh and feel alive. She dared to hope that maybe, just maybe, this was the man she was waiting for. But then, as suddenly as it began, it all came crashing down. One day, Hayo called Yemi and told her that he could not continue with her anymore. He said he had met someone else and didn't want to cheat on her. Yemi is devastated. She let herself believe that she had finally found her soulmate, only to have it taken away from her. For days, she wallowed in self-pity and despair. She felt like she would never find love, never have the family she had always wanted. She wondered if she should just give up on the idea of marriage altogether. But then, Something inside her shifted. She realized that she had been putting all of her hopes and dreams into finding a man. Instead of focusing on herself and her own happiness, she started living a normal life and also spending time with her friends and family. She also started writing again, devoting her body and soul to her work and finding joy in the process. She realized that she did not need a man to complete her, that she was strong, capable, and worthy of her own love and happiness. One day, something unexpected happened. She was at a grocery store picking fruit for dinner when she ran into her middle school classmate. His name is Akin. He is a handsome young man who is also fun to be around. They chatted for a few minutes and then caught up. Then Akin asked Yemi if she wanted a few drinks. Yemi felt excitement in his stomach, then replied with an eyes cashing smile. Yes, I would love that. A few months later, Yemi and Akin fell in love. They went on a romantic date, took a long walk in the park, and spoke for halves about their hopes and dreams. Akin is kind and thoughtful. He makes Yemi feel like she is the most important person in the world. And then one day, he got down on one knee and asked Yemi to marry him. Yemi couldn't hold back his tears. This is what she has always been waiting for. Dream come true. Yes, she said. I will marry you. Three months later, Yemi married Akin. As Yemi walked down the house on her wedding day, surrounded by family and friends, she felt a sense of joy and gratitude that she had never experienced before. She looked at Akin, who was waiting for her at the altar, feeling peace and contentment. She lost hope in marriage, but she found it again. His joy was later restored. A few months later, she gave birth to a bouncing baby girl. Ayo and his wife were very happy when their new child was born. Her husband gave her a car to celebrate. Yemi couldn't help but share tears of joy. Her husband loves her very much. He helps her with housework whenever he is home. Yemi lived the life she always wanted as a married woman and mother. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel to support us. Hit the notification bell, like, comment, and share.